Well, I think today what's happening is that it's being used really around the data on which accounting and finance functions have to work and operate. So, for example, if you are capturing large amounts of data from forms or from accounting systems, AI is being used to sort of ingest that data, whether through optical character recognition, so it can read documents, or simply through feeds of data. And it's effectively learning how to structure that data and put it into the, the fields, the boxes where it needs to go, so that you can create value from it by reporting and interpretation. So that's one area, and that can be in things like, for example, as I said, the accounting software that firms use for management accounts. All of that can be sucked into a system and structured into a set of report and accounts, and AI can be very useful for that. It can be useful for extracting data from forms. For example, I know tax authorities use it for that, for tax returns. Um, so it's really all at that level of taking, gathering up data, taking it, structuring it, and then putting it into a situation where it can be used for the more high value interpretation and functions that, that, that come afterwards. So I think it's sort of, if you like to think of it, it's at the bottom of the pyramid where the more sort of repetitive and manual tasks used to be, the data inputting, this sort of thing, which used to take people a long time, be very boring and repetitive, and it was prone to errors because of course people get bored and look out of the window and they make mistakes when they're inputting data and that then has to be tracked down and corrected. AI is very good at not making those mistakes because it doesn't get bored. So it's being used at that sort of very mechanistic level, I think, a lot of the time. Increasingly as well, it's starting to be used, I think, for more high value interpretive work, where it's taking the data that has been structured and cleaned and looking at it and finding patterns, finding things that we want to gather from it. But it's still, I think, at the, if you like, the bottom half of the pyramid. I think the top half of the pyramid is where human judgment about complex questions is still more powerful than the technology.